very nice. Got all dressed up for court. Gee, I thought I was the one being arraigned today. I thought it would help the judge see how good of a mom you are if I looked all responsible or whatever this is. It was a good idea. So this, this shouldn't take long, right? You just uh, get up there and plead not guilty. I don't think I can do that. Mom, why would you plead guilty? Because I killed a man. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to fight to try to get the lightest sentence possible so I can get back home to you. Okay, listen, I'll admit, I don't know too much about laws. But aren't there other pleas you can make, like self-defense because somebody's life was at stake? Yes, but that is up to the DA. As far as I can plea, it is guilty, not guilty, or no contest, which essentially means that I'm saying I'm guilty anyway. Mom, you did not do but it! Sweet, I know you don't want to think that okay, I did! Okay, what about John? What about John? Mom, if you plead guilty, that's it. Then the only question left is how much time you have to serve. Then John will have to stop looking for the real killer. Sweetie, I am... Mom, stop it! You did not kill anybody! Mom, if John believes you're innocent, then so do I. Well, I need you to trust me, okay? Mom, no, I No do... arguments! No more talking about me and my situation. I... I want to hear about what has been going on with you. Mom, please, I told you I'm fine. You're the one that's locked up. Exactly, and that's why I want to hear about your life, what's been going on with you, and how things are with Star. <sighs> You're good. Really good. She forgave me. Really? Don't act so surprised. No, no, sweetie, I am not criticizing Star. It's just... In my experience, forgiveness hasn't been one of the strongest qualities in the Manning gene pool. But I'm happy for you. I really am. I don't imagine Todd is too thrilled about this. He's fine with it. He gave his approval. Not exactly. But he's not going to stand in our way. That's really great. I am so glad that you have someone you trust and care for. Yeah, so you won't be alone right now. You know what else will make you happy? Nora and I, we, uh, we threw all Miles' stuff out. Just tossed it into the hallway. Does Miles know about this? Oh, yeah. He was actually walking out of the elevator right, right when we were throwing it out. Sweetie, please, do not go out of your way to make Miles more of an enemy than he already is. I know you don't want to talk about it, but if you plead guilty... Which you shouldn't. There's no way you're pleading guilty to this thing. See? John agrees with me. He doesn't believe you killed Spencer either. Well, it's not John's decision. Let me tell you something. You give up now, we're never going to know what really happened. I killed him. I don't remember doing it because a part of me doesn't want to. But it's the only thing that makes sense. Listen to me. The only way you can legitimately plead guilty is if you remember delivering the fatal blow, which you can't. You know what that means? It means the real killer is still out there. You really want to take the rap for whoever that is? Yeah, it's like talking to a wall. Hey, look, Cole, um, I'm going to be taking your mom over to the courthouse in a few minutes. If you're going to be there, you might want to head over now. Mom, listen to what John is saying. Think about what you are doing. Thank you for coming, okay, sweetie? Mom. I love you. I am so proud. for my big day. You look fine. You, on the other hand, don't look so good. You know, Doc, you're, uh, you're about to be arraigned on murder charges. It's, uh, it's a little late for playing shrink. No, no, I'm not playing. This is what I do, and actually, you know, it would help me out to feel a little useful, so, um, you want to talk about it? <laughs> 